So I wanted to do a live thing tonight and sort of hang out with some folks, but you know, I got uh, my wife likes the Detroit Lions, and I get I get sucked into uh, watching that game, which which was a decent game. So, and it turned out with a happy ending. If if you're a Lions fan, so so that's cool. Um, but here I am in the middle of the freaking night, and. Oh, just wanted to get something done. Maybe, maybe we'll just try to get the rest of this week done. Um, you know, or, or, or more if we get uh, super ambitious. So it is the middle of the second week. It is what is day nine, day 10. Yeah. Day it's just, we just completed day 10 and the scoreboard is pretty, pretty rough there. There's obviously haves and have nots, the Barrow White and the Goblin have a lot of points because they've scored a lot of cards. Um, you can see here, Camper, Warlock, Pilgrim, everybody scored the Storm. Um, and over here, you've got the Goblin rolling Spider Slayer, Bad Bounty, Bad Bount, Storm, and he got and found the statue. Um, and he's been killing a lot of stuff. You know, he's been doing a pretty good job killing also. And so he's got 25 points. So, so very interesting. Um, and the barrel weight has a spell. Uh, so it's a good game, but it's sort of a race between those two right now. Um, I do feel that the Warlock has a shot here coming up. And the White Witch has, has really just had a hard uh, time. Because she, she keeps sort of getting booted out of this uh this thing here uh so anyway let's uh let's finish this week out so the barrow white trying to locate the horde does have deal with goblins he's gonna have a very very hard time though um he is gonna have a hard time In the sense that you can't cast deal with goblins every day. That's going to, I mean, he just, he doesn't have the chits for it. Um, and <clears throat> so he can do it once. So he could certainly get in there. Um, he could certainly get in there. You know, excuse me, I'm looking up the rules too as I talk. He'd get in there, he could search, and if he's found, he could cast it. But then he has to get out of dodge instantly, right? Um, so. Oh, and that's not a thingy. Oh, that sucks a little bit. Man, I am getting quite the draft from this window. I suppose that's okay, uh, but... No, it's a type 8. Okay, I'm, I'm just looking up the spell deal with goblins to see sort of what... What kinds of things we can do here? Pacifies them to hire them to use neutral. Uh, that's it. So there's no, you can't sell to them. You can just hire them. So, okay. Good enough. I figured if you could sell to them, then maybe he could sell something and try to sort of make that work. Uh, but not going to happen. So he does have navigator and he has pub crawl. I do think he needs to get rid of, of those. He has not found Ruins 1-5, or at least Pub Crawl. You can't, you can't do Pub Crawl, and you might not be able to do Locate Horde. Um, he, is, he has an easier time hiding, so I do think he's going to take a shot at it. And um, this can be his second Navigator. So I am going to hide... And then I'm going to search, search, search. Could hide, search, one, two. Yeah, I mean, he's going to try to find that one. He'll try to find that one. That gives him one more for Navigator, which probably is this mountain one. Um, in the meantime, he'll drop pub crawl. He'll try to locate the horde. So he he's good to go. 
Uh, our warlock is fine. If you recall, last thing he did was remedy himself of Melt in the Mist. So he is not going to mist as soon as he walks in there. So his goal is to... Uh, his goal <coughs> is to... He could move and quest and just go in. He would be in trouble if the goblin showed at that point. So I think he will hide and move <coughs> to the spellmaster. Um, done. Our third character here, the goblin he's hurting a little bit he he has battled a bit so i do think he wants to rest <clears throat> i also think he wants to try his hand at the layer i think he can beat the layer So I think we're going to move to Ruin 5. I am going to hide. <coughs> I'm going to hide. I'm going to rest twice. And the White Witch... Uh, would like to find the shrine. So she's going to hide and search, search, search. Done. She has Tremendous queued up, so let's keep that in mind. So, okay, so we have one day ready to go here. I think it's day 11. Let's, let's make the roll. Two, Serpents and Demons. Uh, okay, that's fortuitous for the White Witch, actually. Uh, so, uh, the warlock, he's going in, he hides first, but he blows it and goes there and nothing shows up. So he is done. <clears throat> the white witch, I think she hides. She does. Probably no need to hide. She's going to search three times. Fail. Success. So she does find the shrine. So that's cool. So she gets the shrine. Uh, that's going to be locate. So that's going to be a point. She gets one search here with the shrine found. Uh, it has type 5 and 1. So it does have a spell she could use. Um, I mean, learning that spell is, is huge. She's unaffected by curses. She can't actually be attacked by the demon anyway. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, she could sit here. Like, I don't even know that they block him. I think, I mean, because I'm I'm gonna roll with this like he she was the pilgrim. I think in in that respect, and I don't even I don't think they can block him even. So I don't think they can block her to that end. Cannot block him. Cannot be assigned to attack him. He cannot lure them to attack him. They cannot be assigned to him randomly. He can block and attack them normally. There you go. Done. So I say that she is going to read runes once here. Because uh, she can't be cursed. So the top spell is the type 5. So 
it's a little pointless for her, but she's going to, I think, try it anyway. So I'm going to grab my spell decks. And these are the quote unquote permanent ones, as it were. So, because they're, they're actually out and about. We're going to give it that and that. And then these two can just be done. So the first runes is going to be, I think, um, useless. <clears throat> uh, she gets cursed. Nothing happens. So she is done. She is done, but the demon appears. So we're going to do that here. So the winged demon appears here. Poof, and she is done. That is her day. Uh, the Barrow White. He is hiding and searching because he's trying to find this uh, spot there. He does hide. Uh, that's a fail. He needs a 3, 2, or a 1 here. That's another fail. Come on. Low, low numbers. And that's a success. So he gets Ruins 1, 5. As soon as he has 3 checks here, he will complete Navigator. So that's sort of cool. So I'm going to give him an X and 2 O's. He's marked one of those off that he needs. Done. I don't know that anything appears here. Dank! Oh, so we are going to get something here. Dank C. Ugh. So let's let's pull these guys here. He'll have to take a quick check to see what he feels about those guys, because those, those guys aren't uh, trivial. Uh, but he is hidden, and this guy's going to go here. He's going to hide, and then he's going to rest two times. He does indeed hide. So the goblin hides. He's going to rest twice. I'm going to pull back one of each. And then, yep, these guys are showing up actually on, on him, not on the barrel weight. So the barrel weight's like, whoo, all right, well, you know, he's, he's skulking. He searches for the path. The two snakes sort of surprise him, but he is skulked into the bushes, and the snakes turn away with a noise they hear, and they go to the goblins clearing. The goblin's also hidden, so he can make a choice as to what he wants to do with these guys. So, uh, let's go in, let's go with the witch first. The witch has an easier time. She's gonna get consult. So she's gonna score two points right now. Um, this is one of the only times actually dealing with a consultant, you know, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, so she consults, she gets gets that. Um, but she also gets a boon. And so she can either pick an amulet, breaks curses, pointless, um, or a spell, but but pointless. Change of heart, discard one of your quests, and choose one from the discard pile. Uh that's not the worst, strangely enough. But there aren't many in the discard pile. Like, locate the statue would be a point, because it's right there. So that's sort of an interesting one for her. Uh, Mountain Pilgrim wouldn't suck. Like, if I'm her, I would consider taking locate statue, because she knows exactly where the statue is, and it's right there. <laughs> the other thing she could do, though, and this might be a better play all around, is she could she could learn a type 5 spell and convert up to two chits to cast the spell. And it's a random spell, so it could be any one of them. And then the two chits I would consider converting would probably be I mean, it really depends on, I mean, she has to convert something, or she can just take a type 5 forge chit and learn the spell in there. 
If she learns the spell, that ties her to the for the barrel white. So that's an instant point right there. And she can take another point. So I think I think she's going to do that. So she is going to learn a type 5 spell and she is going to convert chits to cast the spell. So unfortunately, darn it. So I need a full deck because this is any spell. So so it can't be one that we've already taken cards out of. It's sort of a, a little annoying about my setup. So she gets animate. Um, so that's sort of cool. But now she has to convert to cast animate or else, I mean, she has to be able to cast it. Um, so that's sort of what you do. So I think she is going to He's going to take this guy here. Uh, she has to keep control bad, so she can't get rid of the six. She could get rid of the two threes and go, well, I'm not going to be... I'm, I'm not going to pacify most things. She could take this type four. And still have a lot of the white. Or she could take that one. Mm, I'm going to take that. There you go. So she is taking a 5 and a 4. And she's going to convert those to type 5s. So now we need to find appropriate type 5s <laughs> for her. So um, uh, they're, one, they're one chit a piece, I think. I think probably the witch has a couple that we might be able to use. Uh, type four, uh, uh, time four, time five, done. Both of those are, so she converts these to these. Uh, oh, kill them. Done. She gets the spell animate, which she can then cast like after the fact effectively. And she's also going to be able to learn the other spell. So she is going to get a spell. That's going to give both her and the other guy. They get to split one and a half points now. Because uh, remember, there's three points in play. And so he drops to six and a half points. And she goes up to four and a half points with her really, really good day. Now, the demon's not her buddy anymore. It'll attack her next, uh, next, tomorrow. So she's got to pay attention to that. Done. All right. Arsonist envoy, and she still has a stupid plant or flag that's that's not going anywhere. Uh, so she is done. That's her combat. Combat ends in the clearing, obviously, for the day, as she is taught by the demon. The goblin needs to take a look at these serpents here and see sort of how he feels about taking them on. The main problem with the serpents is they kill his guys. They absolutely kill his dudes. Um, that that's that's not ideal. Uh, and in fact, you know, like on either side, this guy is going to hit him and go faster than him, unless he flips. But if he's on this side, he kills this guy. So I think the the goblin would have to effectively either tank both of them or he would have to deploy and hope to effectively get lucky on round one and you're really talking what eight prowess probably you know right so how i would probably consider playing this would be um, these two guys deploy on this one. The goblin takes this one. 
you hope to get your lucky shot or you hope that this guy flips. Yeah, but that's not going to matter because he has to do heavy damage and he's not going to be able to do to, to pull heavy damage without being a four. So he can't auto hit this guy no matter what. You're hoping that these guys hit on the first round and kill this dude. And if they do, so be it. And if not, uh, you are screwed um, a little bit. And then, what are you doing? I don't, I don't even know exactly sort of what the play would be. You'd probably drag this guy back over. I think we're letting the serpents lie. I, th I think we're going to just let them go for now. Because our goal is to not be in, even in here. Uh, so we just, we're just going gonna, gonna to leave that be. Okay, so that's the end of the day. So it was a good day. And um, let's let's make sure that we have saved everybody's little widget there. Those scores are very interesting all of a sudden, as you can see. Um, and the Barrow White's going to get in on the uh, the uh, the Warlock's getting in on this here in a minute. So day twelve, uh, the Barrow White has found what he wanted to find. He is going to go one two he's going to hide and then move and move to the camp and then he is going to rest to get this chit back and he is done the Sorcerer is going to execute his quest phase. He's going to pay five bucks, and so he should get Spellmaster like that. So he should get that. And then the question is, what is he going to do otherwise? Um, once you get Spellmaster, then he's got to get to the Shrine. So I would say that he is going to... If he gets attacked by this guy, can he cast? No. So I would argue then that he is going to hide. He's going to quest and he's going to hide. And if it all works out, he's going to run out of the clearing at the end of the day. Um, there you go. And he's got to figure out sort of which... Uh, Probably purple? Just guessing. Okay. And that's him. Uh, the goblin moves out to the lair first thing. He's going to hide. He's going to search twice. He is done. And then the uh, our, our, our gal here, who is she enemies with? Dragon men and Merker. She doesn't like the soldiers of the rogues either. She could pull arsonist off there. The soldiers are not super far away. She could also try to kill, kill our guy. Strangely enough, she's really in good in good shape to kill a guy. Now, keep in mind, she's unaffected by demons or imps. So I suppose she doesn't even have to. Weirdly enough, she could just sit here and collect and and nothing would happen um she cannot be attacked she can't be blocked by that dude so ah uh, that's a good question what do you do in that case if I had, so the interesting thing is, I mean, he's not terrible to, to, to animate. He's not great to animate, but he's not terrible to animate.
So I think what she does is she is going to utilize the fact that she is mostly immune to this guy. She is going to rest twice. She's going to get that black magic back. She's going to spell X and spell. And she's going to sit here and be done. And this guy's going to like be really angry and, and, and think about what he would like to do. He's going to yell at her like they're in the exorcist, right? Uh, but she is unflappable because she, she knows she can't be touched. Uh, so day 12, let's get a monster roll in. Two, serpents and demons again. Very interesting. And it's the goblin and so on. So the goblin moves to here. He's going to hide. He does, so he is hidden. He searches two times. And he finds the lair with his first search. We're going to pop the lair. And then he is absolutely 100% um, going to loot this darn lair. Over. So we're going to move him seven. So he has seven treasures. He gets one for sure. It's going to be a good one. Oh, I almost saw the first one come off the top. Instead, he's going to get the fifth one. Um, I don't know where the hell that went. I have no idea where that went. That thing just flew. <laughs> Did you see? It? Ooh, and it's gone. Reflecting grease. Armor deflects wounds. Armor itself may be damaged. So now this helmet becomes proof against wounds for one combat. That's sort of cool. Now here's the only problem. Uh, we're going to get dank caves again and these guys wander. So now you have every damn thing. So he would have had to have lucky it. So, so now this place looks pretty shitty, and he, and he really, really is annoyed. Like you almost should have. Maybe, maybe you should have, uh, uh, you know, killed those two serpents now. So he is done. He did pull one treasure, but now he is done. She is going to, haha, -ha, rest and rest. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to put those here and here. Uh, and then she flips one and she is done. Uh, serpents and demons come out. That's the demon. Nothing happens. Done. The Barrow White goes one, two. So he's going to end up there. Uh, he is hidden and he's going to rest one to pull his magic chip. Back. Is he hidden though? Is he? He is. And he is done. Uh, does anything appear in the campfire? Small. Is it small or is this large? I think this is a large camp. Yeah, it's a large campfire. Done. Uh, and the our uh, sorcerer guy here is going to hide and do a quest phase. The quest phase requires him to spend five gold. So he does spend five gold, which sucks a little bit, but... But he's going to get the card. So the Warlock actually gets the damn card. Bam, like that. He gets one extra chit to play with. I think he's going to simply take this guy and get an extra one. Ancient Scrolls, okay. Oh, and she has Arson and Envoy. So she has to find friendly and unfriendly guys and deal with them. So, okay. I think he is even less inclined to fight these guys now. This serpent is actually easier to deal with. But does still, like, it's it's very killy. It's, it, it kills, I think it kills one of his guys unless he is very, very uh, fortunate.
Yeah, because we can't go any faster than a five. And on the flip side, I think that thing's a four. So it will kill one of these guys if it grabs a hold of them. Um, but I don't think it can grab a hold of him unless it lines up. Yeah, so its attack time is a four. So these two, so the Tremendous just dances with, with him um, forever. So let's take a look at this stupid fight here. So taking a look at this fight, if I put him against him, then he can't hit him with his time three. So he keeps back. When he hits, he does light damage. And then this guy is going to kill him. No, he doesn't because it's not tremendous. He has to be on this side. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, this combat does not work for our goblin. So he's got to sit this one out. The only time it works is effectively in round one, he would have to line up with this guy with one of these two. And even, even he doesn't work. He has to line up with this guy. Um, but only round one. So that's not going to do it. Okay, so so we're we're gonna we're gonna sit for the night. So we we literally are done done. Okay, and okay the uh, and our I think our white whoop, our white witch sits also. Uh, okay. I just hit control Z, which is gonna nope, didn't work. Okay, rest, rest, spell X and spell. That that was her move. Okay, anyway. Let's uh let's get the next day going then. This is what day 13. So on day 13. I think we have a hide and then a move into the cave. And then largely an extra move to the goblin. Done. The, oh, on this end of the day, this guy is going to run out of this clearing to here. That gives him four, four shots instead of what he, what he has. So I think what we are going to do is, uh, so this is interesting, right? So he's going to move to here. That's two. Uh, so he moves to mountain two. He hides. He could move to the altar. Doesn't have a lot of options, though, in, in that sense. He could then... Um, He could alert. He could try to kill the thing. Oh no, it's not a mountain clearing. It is it is a mountain, but it is not a mountain clearing. So that's not actually going to get him what he needs. <laughs> Um, he would need to lure the this guy here to a mountain clearing, and then he could kill him. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to hide twice, go to the altar, and that's going to hopefully get us the pilgrimage. Right, that's the goal here. So so that's what he's trying to do. Done. Um, okay. Oh, 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 he's going to move this and put this here and move that right now good to go so that's what he has the goblin the 
Goblin is going to, oof, so he has lucky day. So he's going to take a hide roll, and he'll luck it if he needs to, and search three times. He's going to try to get something out of here. But he's going to luck if he needs to. If he fails two of them, that's 90%. He's going to have to deal with this. And likely get out of, you know, figure out how to get out of dodge here. Um, and then she is going to, remembering she can't be blocked. I think she is just going to gonna hide twice and she's gonna rest twice. Done. All right. Looks like day 13 is ready to to roll here. Five, so spiders and imps. So we're going to have a little bit more action going on um, in those mountains. Goblin's first. Goblin is hiding from the snakes. He does. Now he loots three times the, the, uh, the lair. So he gets the fifth card. I do not like that's going all the way down here. I know it goes into my hand, but it's going way down my hand. Uh, rest counts double. That's one. Um, second loot is a five again, so he's taking the last five. And then finally, a two. So that's that's good. That's good. Two. He's going to take the Shielded Lantern, which is an extra phase in a cave. That is, that's huge. I'm going to put these just over here for now. Uh, the Enchanter's Skull, sort of pointless, but it is a thing. The Shielded Lantern, I mean, we will activate the Shielded Lantern. Um, but that's going to give us an interesting thing. Because now that's a great treasure all of a sudden. That's going to score two points for our guy at the moment. Uh, so that is a big deal. Uh, now, what happens here? Does anything else come? No, I don't think anything else shows up. So he is done. The Barrow White is going to... Oops, oops. The Barrow White's going to move in, hide and hide. So Or hide and move. So he rolls his hide. He succeeds. And he is there. Done. And then the Warlock, one, hides twice, and then goes to the altar to score Pilgrim. He does hide, and he's there. The demon appears. Oh, no, not the demon. It's not a demon. It is this guy appears. The witch hides twice. And she blows it. That's the interesting part, is she actually blows it, which causes her to be blocked by the spider. Uh, not ideal. That was not quite where she wanted to go. But the guy did, uh, the sorcerer, uh, the warlock, did indeed uh, score pilgrim. That's another point. So he ends up with three. The goblin has eight, and we're in danger of losing the white witch. <laughs> uh, and we got dragon slayer, which he cannot take double, so he has to dump it. And he has envoy now also. Um, what do we got? Pilgrimage, envoy, done. Uh, okay, so what the hell is going on here? So the first thing is first. Uh, does the Barrel White feel that he wants to take on all those goblins? Probably not. Is there a goblin bounty? Keeping in mind there is a goblin bounty that's just that's a point. If you kill a goblin, you get a damn point.
with the main problem being he cannot cast that fast enough. Can't cast it fast enough to get out the door with a bunch of goblins. So this is not a good fight for him. If he alerted either of those chits, um, then he might be able to take a shot. But even then, you really only have the tiniest chance. You have to get that kind of flip or line up in round one. So the chance of lining up is 33. The chance of flipping is 30. So it's two thirds. It's 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 30 percent of two thirds is the failure chance. Well, two thirds. Well, how about this? Two thirds of thirty percent is the failure chance. So twenty percent is right because he either doesn't line up. Oh no, seventy percent of of that. So that's my fault. So it's like a fifty fifty to kill a guy on round one if you can get him to flip or. But there is one definite combat right now. That is her. She is here. Dealing with these two creatures. Uh, she's got a heavy. So this sucks a little bit. Because I was actually planning on lunging out. Killing this thing. And then animating it. And carrying it around with her. With the black magic she just got. Uh, I think now though. So this guy is on her sheet. The warlock. Can be hidden. Does he have anything at all he wants to do? I mean, he can death ray. But he's not. What do you want to say? He's not ready. He's not alert. Nothing's alerted. Nothing is alerted. So. I think she needs to decide what to do. The demon doesn't care. Not, not on her sheet at all. The spider is ready to charge her down. Um, so she can fight this one of two ways. She can just probably, she can auto kill this guy and fatigue a, a fight, which uh, I think she might do because I think she, and, uh, that sucks. I, I sort of had a plan for this and it, it went away. It went awry. I think she needs to just kill this thing though and get it, get it out of here. Cause otherwise uh, this guy hits her and it's going to be a mess and she cannot otherwise kill it. So I think she plays this, like that, uh, regardless of what the spider does. So it's the red die is, spider pops down to there. Does the spider flip over? He does to his super dangerous side, but then she caps him with tremendous damage. She has to fatigue a fight chit, which she will. This now goes away. I'll put it over here. And she gets the three points. And the demon looks on, uh, you know, looks on, right? So she kills a spider. She gets three. She is done. The combat is over. Uh, the sorcerer is not yet ready to use the, uh, to do anything. So he is, he's done also. <laughs> The goblin needs to get out of dodge. I think he's reasonably happy with what he's gotten out of there. Uh, he is enemy to the soldiers, so he's, he's not going to sell there. So he is going to get out of there and go, uh, I don't freaking know where. Uh, um... Too bad because uh I mean but I mean he did pull several treasures out of there so we're not we're not super super bummed. 
Uh, but he does, and he needs a turn in cards also. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is, I'm actually going to say that he is going to actually move to the house and hide three times so that he can dump his stuff. Done. And be done. Uh, and this is what? On day 14, right? Yeah, so this is day 14. So what is the Barrow White going to do? Barrow White has a great chance to be hidden. But if he is not hidden, he is screwed. So he is going to... Can he run? Does he have a move three? He does, but that's not fast enough. He can't beat all these guys. So strangely enough, if he doesn't hide, he is screwed. Like, he is not enjoying that at all. And you might get lucky and have them all flipped, in which case you can cast Melt and get out of Dodge. I think we're going to take the one risk and then search three times. Got to take it. I mean, maybe you don't. He's, 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 he's not far off the lead. Locating the horde and or locating that thing would give him, you know, he'd get close to another two points. It's a one-sixth chance of disaster. And one thing about Magic Realm is when you court a one-sixth chance of disaster, it's going to happen. Uh, the Sorcerer. Well, which is actually the Warlock. I call him the Sorcerer. I mean, sure, you can kill this guy. Uh, all it would take is a an alerted uh, of type 5. Does he care? Do I care enough? There is a spell there. So I think I do. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to move out. Hide. Alert. Move back in. Goal is to kill the guy. And then she is going to... Search four times and just... Use the fact that she knows what is possibly coming here and what isn't coming here. Although, again, you could get another spider um, because it is day 14 with gray magic in every clearing. So let's uh, let's see where we end up. Two, two dice, six and three. So we do have a six and we have a three. So interesting. These guys are going to come off the board. So in a way, he lucks out because he's not going to not hide, effectively. Although if he's not hidden at the end of this, it's going to suck. Uh, the pool comes back. The bats are so done. Okay. Sorcerer is first. Sorcerer moves away. Hides. He does. He's going to come in with a alerted chit. That's going to be this chit because that will give him an insta-kill of the dude. And... He moves back into the altar, and he is done. Uh, the Barrow White hides, and he is hit. And that's good. And now he's searching for that darn lair. Or the Horde. That's one. 
Oh, you know you want to... No, that's two. Oh, come on. Oh, no, he doesn't get three. He only... I'm sorry. Uh, he does not get three extras. He gets one extra. So he will fail uh, to find it. The goblins then return. The witch is going to use her magic powers of not worrying about the demon to search all the time. So, what is she going to do here? So, this shrine has how many treasures? I think it has four, right? Two, too big, too small. Yeah. I think... So, we're going to go for the spells first. She is going to read runes first. Uh, and she's going to do it four times. So fail. One. Two fails. God dang it. That is an awaken, but it doesn't actually, like, she doesn't get the spell. She just gets a look at it, which is sort of dumb. It is pentangle. Demons and imps can't attack you. Then it goes to the bottom of the deck, like that. And she has only one more roll. So she totally... Oh my god, she fails everything. Done. And that's it. That's that. And now the goblin goes here and then hides three times. Fails once. This this could be disastrous. He succeeds. Okay. So he is good and he is out of there. And so let's... I don't think there's any fights necessarily. Uh, there will be there. So let's look at the barrel white first. I don't think he has anything going. He is he is done. The oh this guy. So he's gonna light this dude up with a time zero. Uh, he burns black magic. He burns this shit. It's time zero, so it's gonna hit, and he's gonna do eight points, or eight. Uh, he's gonna, uh, and then I think this shit comes back because he unfatigues the one chip. So he gets eight prowess out of it, is what I was trying to say. Um, otherwise, sort of nothing, but he does clear it out for, you know, for himself. And he is done. Um, cool. Uh, he needs to burn his crap. And I think he's just going to take the entire set here. Uh, maybe you keep Lucky Day just because it's a free extra hide. He gets Giant Slayer and Explore the Caves. Not sure how I feel about those. Uh, this guy does get to return to the Lancers. So he done. Uh, explore caves. That's over here. That's great. But yeah, it's a little 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 dicey there. Uh, and I don't think and that's it. That's there's nothing else. So we do a score check here and the week is over. So quick score check. Uh, this guy has four cards. He has eight prowess now. The barrel white. He has the gold. He's got some shitty cards. And he found nothing in the the caves. Uh, so four. Now prowess, I think, has changed hands a little bit. Because he's only scoring a half a point for it now because the... Um, the Warlock and the Barrel White are in the same position there. So this is six. So he's down to six points total at the end of week two. The Warlock has three cards. Uh, no gold, right? He does get half a prowess point because he is tied for second place. 
So he's actually up to three and a half points. So it's not as dismal a showing for him uh, this week than last week. Uh, great. Done. The Goblin, I believe, is still holding with eight points. He's got four cards under his belt. He is winning prowess. He is winning great treasures right now because of the skull. That's eight points. The White Witch, she has one, two, three points. She is tied for spells with the Barrow White because she has a single spell learned at the moment. Uh, she's trying to learn the second spell so she can flip that. She would get two points, he would get one, so she would essentially steal a half point off him. It would be five to five and a half at that point, so it's so it would be tightening up. Um, and she knows the, the Whirlwind can also learn a black spell from here. So she probably wants to learn one or two to insulate herself and score that two points as opposed to the one and a half. So I'm real happy with how this week turned out in terms of the interest of the game. Like the game score-wise has become very interesting to me. And I actually love that, right? I'm all for a good competition, like a good, a good I always like watching a good race. And this is a good race right here. Um, I think anyone, he, I mean, look, the Goblin has a big lead, but he has a big lead because of great treasures and prowess. It, won't, it doesn't actually take much for someone to kill a couple more big dudes and, you know, and get up to 24, 25 and, and take that lead. Same thing with great treasures. It literally takes one lucky draw and you now have taken some points off of that off of that board from the goblin. So I think his lead is is not perfect. It is tenuous lead. The four cards is good. Everything else though obviously is in doubt. Uh I think the witch is going to get her second spell point and take it off the barrel white. So I think she will edge up into five and six point territory. Uh the Barrow White is in a precarious position, so not su I'm not super jazzed for where he's sitting right now. Um, so I think that's it. I think we're good. I am going to sign off here. I'm going to save the game. Uh, week is done. We will get into the next week here very, very soon. Talk to you later.